Hey guys, so today I'm just honestly going to answer people's questions who have been asking me how to do this, how to do that. So I'm going to start off with a glossy floor or a glossy wall. So what you want to do is go to add, mesh, and go to plane. And then I press S, scale it up. So make sure the plane is selected. You want to go to material properties, press new, go to surface, and then click this. Oops. And then go to emission. Or wait, not emission, my bad. Glossy. Glossy BSDF. So you can honestly change the color if you want, like any color, but I think I'm gonna have it at I'll do red. And then make sure you can change the roughness. So you have to change the roughness to make it glossy. I'm gonna change the roughness all the way down. See how it does that like reflective thing. So I'm just gonna put my roughness at, yeah, I should leave it at 25 minutes. So when I go into like a rendered thing, there you go, look, it has like a red thing going on. <laughs> so, now, actually, I'm going to change this, put a little bit of white. Yeah, okay, that's a nice one. Now, what people have been asking me is also emission planes, or lighting, basically. So, I don't use the point lighting, I use emission planes, so what emission planes are is just really light. So, what I do is just add mesh and then plane again scale it up to however i want i'm gonna rotate it to give it like that light thing so what make sure um you have the plane selected so what you want to do is press new make sure you're in material properties press new from surface you're going to click emission so what it does you see how it gives it that little light here that little light there so you can change the color also on this any color I'm gonna change it to I'm gonna change it to red <laughs> and then the strength what it does is depends it's like no strength is basically how bright you want your light source to be so I'm sure put that 10 because I usually use 10 or 5 but yeah, that's emission planes, basically. So I'm just gonna add another emission plane. So add mesh plane. Turn this, scale it up to however big I want it to be. Turn it up here. Go to material properties, press new, surface, and emission. So what I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna put this on 30 because I don't want it too bright. So there you go. But when you render this, it's gonna show up on camera. For example, on the emission planes, yeah. It's gonna um it's gonna show up on camera. Sometimes I keep the emission planes because I actually like them, but if I just want lighting, then you're just gonna click on the emission plane, then go to object properties. Scroll all the way down to visibility. Make sure you click visibility. Then go to ray visibility. Click camera. See now that it's like not on the camera no more or anything. And then if you don't want it on the glossy too, you should press glossy. That's honestly all you do. So I'm gonna do that to the other one. So make sure the other one's clicked. Go to object properties. Uh, visibility and then ray visibility and then camera glossy so it gives it that look so now what people have been asking me also is um what should we call that rendering so when I render my image it looks pretty trash but people have been asking me how to like render it as like a good FPS. So what I do is go to render properties and you see render here. Make sure it's at 
500. So it gives it that, I don't know, that look. And then you go to this, what should we call this? What is this thing? Output properties. And then you go to frame rate and make sure it's at 60 FPS or 50. I usually use 60 FPS because it's normal for me. But, yeah. Wait, I moved the camera. I didn't mean to move the camera. Okay, nice. So, that's how I honestly render my um, GFXs. So, I'm just gonna render the image. I'm gonna speed this up. Alright, so now that it finished rendering, so what I'm gonna do is go to image here and then save as. Uh, all I do is really just save it as like a random name. Go to pictures, I go to my pictures and then save it there. Just a random name, save as image, and then we are done!